with another video. Hopefully, I don't sound ugly right now, y'all. Your girl's catching a cold. So, because the weather been changing, y'all. The weather been up and down. It been snowing some days. Then the snow will clear up the next day. But, yeah, y'all, I am back with another video. Y'all see by the title, I'm going to be telling y'all how I relocated to a new state in a new city with four kids as a single mom, y'all. And I decided to make this video because someone actually wrote me on Instagram. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. I'm at lovely underscore Nisha W, I think. I'm going to put it on the screen somewhere, y'all. But make sure y'all follow me and engage with me on Instagram. Right, Chagura, okay? But, yeah, someone wrote me and asked me, like, how did I relocate and stuff like that. So, I decided to make a video just telling everybody, just in case there's somebody subscribed to me that wants to know. So, yeah, y'all, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and hit y'all notifications bell. All right, and let's get into this video. First of all, y'all, I want to say, sorry about this light now. I'm in my room, and I got to change the lights in here. I got to get some brighter lights. Or whatever but anyways i want to say this y'all i for anybody out there that got kids or if you don't got kids and you're looking to relocate away from family away from your friends and you scared can i tell y'all this before i moved i was the same person in my hometown typing up on youtube um how to relocate with kids how to do this, you know, how to go about this with kids. And I've seen, I came across a, some videos, but like the videos I came across, it was like people had their baby daddy with them or people they married or they got a boyfriend and they moved. But it's like, I'm a single mom, okay? I'm in this by myself. I'm a single mom of four. So I was that person, y'all. I was that person that was like, looking looking for steps to take to move i was that person that was scared to take that risk and to just step out on faith and just move but i'm here i'm in a new city i'm in a new state so that's crazy y'all because like before i moved i was the same person that was scared to move and let me tell y'all there's nothing scary about it at all there's nothing complicated about it at all nothing complicated about it so, and that's coming from a person that was scared to take that leap. I was the person that was worrying, like, oh my gosh, like, what's going to happen? I was the person wondering, like, what is going to be like on the other side? What is going to be like? But, and I was the person that was thinking it was hard. I was the person that was thinking relocating with four kids was hard you know, or it's scary. And you don't need $10,000 to move. You don't need 5000 All you need is when you get your apartment, you need your rent and your deposit, y'all. All you need is if you get your apartment, you need your rent and deposit. You don't need no 5000 You don't need no 10000 I understand when people say they need that certain amount of money because they want to be secured. But you will never move if you you know you ain't never touched that amount of money in a month or you know you would never move you would never move so get your rent and deposit together put your rent and deposit to the side that's all you need it's people that to be honest i had zero dollars okay because i was supposed to get my deposit and didn't um didn't get my deposit so i didn't have my rent or deposit i didn't have no money y'all all I had was, well, I had like $300 just to travel and to make the distance, you know, for gas and stuff. But luckily, y'all, I was able to get the money from somebody else that had the money. Luckily, I was able to get the money from somebody else. And then I paid them back or whatever. And I did finally receive my deposit. But you don't need ten, twelve thousand dollars $12,000. You don't even need that type of money to move, y'all. So don't let... Don't let money be the reason why that's holding you back. Because you don't need that. You don't need that. You just need a car to get to where you need to get. You probably don't even need a car. You can go by plane, to be honest. You just don't know what, what God got for you, okay? You can go by plane and 
go visit. You just never know what happens. Everybody's story is different. I didn't hear stories of people that literally left with $300 to their name, got an apartment, and all type of stuff, y'all. I done heard so many stories, y'all, about people just being blessed and, you know, so you never know what happens, but you don't need $10,000, okay? Let me just say that. There's nothing scary about um, moving away from your family when you're a single mom by yourself. I can say, I think we think a lot into it, like, because for me, I was scared because I was more so, I wasn't scared for myself. I was scared for my kids. I was more scared about my kids because I'm by myself. And it's like, how am I going to protect all my kids by myself if something goes wrong? We don't, I don't have no family that could just come in 2.5 seconds when, you know, I'm 600 some miles away. So I was thinking about that, y'all. But let me tell you, God goes everywhere you go god goes everywhere you go y'all so i would say don't think too much about it do not think too much about it for me i had to gain the courage to go that was like number one i had to because i was scared y'all i i'm a person that been in my hometown most of my life like i only travel an hour away. I only drove like an hour to, I think like the maximum distance I drove away from my hometown was like four hours. That's the maximum distance I drove away from my hometown, y'all. And that was just to go in a city, pick somebody up and come back to my hometown. Like that wasn't to stay nowhere too long. So it's like, you know, I'm that person. I'm that person that never stepped outside a foot outside her hometown and never drove far before you know so and to drive by myself with four kids y'all on the highway okay um 600 miles away that's 12 that's 11 10 to 12 hours so yeah y'all so the first step for me was to gain the courage to go gain the courage to go and to be honest with y'all, to be honest with y'all, it was all God. It was all God because out of nowhere, I just gained that courage. Out of nowhere, I just had that that courage, y'all. Once I gained the courage to go, to just go, I set a time to just go visit. So y'all can set some money aside. Go visit where you want to move to first. Go visit there first. That's what I did. If y'all go back on my videos, y'all know I took a trip um i took a trip to alabama first that's where i'm currently located that's where i'm currently at y'all i took a trip to alabama first before i decided to move here so take a trip there first okay get the vibes you know um and then it's a good thing let me tell y'all it's a good thing to take a trip there first because where you going is not always it's not set up the same from your hometown of course like me, I'm glad I took a trip to Alabama first and learned how to drive out here first. Got that experience of driving out here first before I actually moved because I knew like the, and I was out here when I first visited, I visited for like three days, y'all. So like I got a feel, I got a nice amount of time to get a feel of how people drive, other people drive and how these roads is, y'all, how the streets is, because it's totally different because here is bigger than where I come from. I come from a small city, very small city, y'all. So Alabama is bigger than where I come from. So like when you making them left turns, you got to like turn, like turn all the way down the street and then turn to the next street. But in my little small city, you make a left turn and you right there. You just, you know. But here it's like four lanes. They have like four lanes open. You know, it's just so many lanes, y'all. So that's number one. Gain the courage. Gain the courage to go. Number two, visit where you want to go first. Visit there first, okay? Set some money aside, go visit, get you a hotel, visit there or Airbnb, 
visit there first y'all stay for a few days get the vibe see how you like it go out to eat go to different places go to the mall and you know you can figure out the roads and stuff next what i did was i knew god wanted me in alabama i knew this where i wanted to be y'all like i just knew i'm gonna do a separate video on that on how i knew if y'all want to see that video comment down below but i might do a separate video on how i knew god wanted me in alabama i might do a separate video but i knew god wanted me here so when i went back home y'all i was applying to jobs here i was applying to housing here so when i was in my little small little city i was applying to jobs i was looking at what was for rent applying to places um for rent and all of that so that's the like the third step if you know where you're going you know the city and the state apply for your job apply for your job apply for um your housing so that's what i did y'all i applied for jobs i applied for housing now if you get your job first because when my situation y'all i i um actually got my house first before i got the job i got my housing first um before i got a job and that would made it that made it easier for me to just leave you know because it was time for me i left i went and signed my lease and stuff and it was just easy for me to go because i already had my address now if you get your job first you can work you can work stay in a hotel i know it might be um expensive to try to save money up and stay in a hotel and work but this is this is what you can do though let me tell you what you can do you okay if you get your job first you might not even have to stay in a hotel that long just continue to apply yourself apply to housing and once you get your if you when you get your job just submit your offer letter that shows your pay your pay rate so if you don't even have your pay stub yet to show for proof of income you can show you can try to get an offer letter that shows your pay rate your pay rates and all that stuff y'all and show that to your landlord to the landlord of the house the house or the apartment that you're trying to get and pray on it so i moved when i signed my lease and all that i had moved here and then i got my job after the fact but either way it goes y'all there's nothing to be afraid of trust me all you have to do is just drive get in your car put in your gps your city and your state and go get your hotel get your airbnb is there's nothing scary about it and that's what i was thinking i was thinking i was overthinking it i was overthinking it for y'all that got kids there's a lot of work from home there's a lot of work from home jobs right now everywhere like there's a lot of a lot of jobs is work from home so you know you can work from home you can put your kids um in daycare that works with your work schedule um if you trust daycares me personally i don't trust daycares y'all so i'm i'm gonna be honest with y'all i'm a full-time work from home mother okay so i'll be around here i'll be working i put my little customers on hold not too long. I don't put my hold too long, y'all. So don't be trying to come. Don't be trying to um get me fired and you know. Don't be sharing my picture around the world asking who I work for and trying to get me fired. <laughs> but I be putting my my members on hold and I go take care of my babies, do what I gotta do. They watch TV. You know, I I get them fed before I work and then on my breaks I get them even more fed and take care of what I need to take care of. So, because I don't trust daycares, y'all. So, I do what I got to do. I make this money and I, you know, take care of my household as well. So, I do what I got to do. I be, y'all, sometimes I be having to put my customers on mute because my kids be running in here. And I be having to tell them, you know, mommy going to call. Go figure it out. Go figure it out. You know, I do what I got to do, y'all. And daycares is expensive. Like, daycare is so expensive. But my older kids help me too, y'all. So, yeah. But, anyways, back to what I was saying. There's a lot of work from home jobs for single moms. And, let me see. 
yeah, there's a lot of work from home jobs from sing for uh, single moms. And then, um, if, like, if for people, especially for moms that got multiple kids like me, like, I have four kids. If you got one child, not to say it'll be easy, because I know, like, not all work schedules work with daycare, because majority of these daycare centers out here close at 6 p.m. or 5 p.m. or 5.30, stuff like that. And you work in second shift and don't get off till 10 o'clock or whatever, you know. So, not all um, daycares work around your schedule, your work schedule. But try to find something that works for you. Like I said, there's a lot of work from home jobs, y'all. Uh, and then your kids going to be in school, too. Like, my two oldest are in school. So, um, my work day go by pretty smoothly when they in school. And even like around the holiday, they was home for Christmas for a couple of weeks, y'all. It was okay. It wasn't it's not too bad because I'm I got in the hang of working from home and taking care of my kids. Cause I just put my put my member on on hold. I know I got a three minute hold time. I got three minute hold time for my member to be on hold. You know, so I use that. I be using it like. Give me one moment while I pull your account up. Okay, if I place you on a brief hold so I can pull your account up. Boop, hold. Okay, what, what you need? Um, Yeah, y'all. But anyways, um, yeah, so for mothers, all I feel like um, moving to be more of a hassle for mothers. The only thing is, you know, you got to sign your kids up for school when you move. You got to make sure you get their doctors and dentists um in order and stuff like that you know sign them up for um for medical and dental um stuff like that y'all and that's it though it's not hard it's not hard and then i think nowadays like i don't know if it's like this in every city or every state but like me moving here my kids only had one school that was zoned for them so I didn't have to go through what school they gonna go to or, you know, pick and choose. I feel like a lot of people, including myself, y'all, we be overthinking stuff too much. We really overthink stuff too much. And I know y'all that's like, that was like me scared to move or whatever y'all comes, but y'all still be thinking like, dang, I wonder what it's like on the other side. I wonder what it's like. That was me. That was me always wondering what it's gonna be like in Alabama what it's gonna be like in Alabama I wonder what it's like or I wonder you know like always wondering you might as well just go and visit because you just gonna keep wondering you're gonna keep living in fear and you ain't gonna never make that move at all so yeah y'all that's it for this video this video is super long but that's it for this video so step one gain the courage to go okay do your research. I forgot to include that. Gain the courage to go, but do your research. Before I moved here, I was researching stuff. I was researching the weather. I was looking at um, reviews for apartments as well, y'all. Because some apartments I looked up, they were saying people got shot. And I was like, uh, we not going over there. We not going over there. So, yeah. So, do your research. Gain the courage to go visit there go visit okay when you come back home do your research do your research apply for a job do your research on jobs too i was doing my research on jobs too to see about anybody put bad reviews on management and stuff like that do my research um also um apply for houses so when you do you go visit you come back home apply for a job apply for houses in that city and in that state um, if you get your job first, get an offer letter and try to still apply yourself to these apartments. Give an offer letter to the landlord, okay, with your pay rate on there and stuff and showing your position. And also, if you get your house first, you good, just go and look for a job. And there's a lot of work from home jobs for single moms out there. There's a ton of them. Work from home jobs. And, um, what else? Yeah, y'all, that's it. Like I said, do your research. Always do your research. And, 
yeah y'all so yeah also y'all i'm gonna give y'all i'm gonna give y'all a little tip too because i was doing this too before i end this video i was on youtube looking at uh i gotta find a youtube channels but basically y'all it's two different dudes on youtube they their youtube channel is based off them going around different cities different cities and states just to see how they look like they show y'all the good parts they show y'all the hood they show y'all different parts of the cities they interview people and that helped me too like it's a dude on youtube he was um traveling around different cities in alabama y'all he traveled around um the city where i am and that helped me to get a view of what it looks like as well I was on watching videos, so y'all type up the city and state that y'all want to go to. Type it up on YouTube, and I guarantee one of them them went in your city and um, toured it. So that's what their YouTube channel is based on. Like they go to different cities and states, and they just tour it and they just show their subscribers, you know, the different parts of the city. They show the good and the bad, the ugly, all of that. And I was looking at videos like that as well. So that help y'all. And y'all get a view of what it looks like. Also interview people so y'all get to see, hear about what goes on and stuff like that. So yeah, that's a, that's another little tip. If I find a channel, I'm going to put it in my description box or in the comments. So yeah, but anyways y'all, that's it for this video. I hope I encouraged a whole lot of people out there that's trying to move. Especially my single moms. <laughs> Y'all trying to get away from y'all irritating family and y'all friends that's holding y'all back. Now I'm just playing. But, um, yeah, y'all, that's it for this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. In the next video. In the next. This lighting is so ghetto. So ghetto. I need to get some lights, y'all, because these lights not giving what it's supposed to give. It's not giving at all, y'all.